Now the final type of engineered solution that students will come up with are environments. So these are where they create a environment whereby the environment itself solves the problem. So it may be having a nice environment in which to study. Maybe students are finding it, they're becoming distracted and it's too noisy and, and so forth. So they may propose as a solution a special room that's set aside with bean bags and some acoustic tiles on, on the windows to reduce noise coming in from outside. Maybe some um, uh, dimmed lighting and various other aspects to make a nice quiet study space which solves that particular problem through an environment that they have created. So in years five and six, students will again investigate and define various problems that they want to then seek a solution to, and they will explore the various aspects related to that. Um, in particular, in years five and six, they're looking at the tools and equipment and so forth that are needed to achieve that process and learning about how to use those tools in a more complex way. Then they would generate and design their solutions. Um, so in the examples, there is coming up with newsletters that may be involving um, solving a problem with communication within the school. But another um, solution to that may be having runners go around and talk to each class or a broadcast system there can be a range of other possible design solutions to a communication problem. But thinking of an environment that achieves that solution may be a little bit more complex, but it may be achievable. It may be setting up um, the, the school so that all the classrooms so that they can all look in on a particular location. And that could be where information is then distributed out. So various other ways of trying to design um, solutions in terms of the physical environment that they may be in. Now often this involves students mapping and exploring and diagramming and coming up with uh, physical representation or diagrammatic representations of physical spaces and students learning how to do different um, plan views and front views and side views and isometric views is part of designer technologies education where they're communicating their design ideas through more and more complex diagrammatic processes. And then of course they will produce and implement their solutions and then evaluate them. Now in years five and six, their solutions are becoming more complex and they're also becoming more social. So generally their solutions are going to be more aimed at solving problems related to their community, their school, their local community, much more so than in the younger grades. And then of course we have their collaboration and managing processes. We're again, typically learning how to work in teams and take on leadership roles, but also fellowship roles and how it's important to learn when to share their ideas, but also when to take on other people's ideas and incorporate those into solutions that everyone can agree on, rather than just trying to see their idea um, done by the group. So think about those activities and the examples provided and see if you can come up with your own environmental based solution to a problem.